understood what I saw right there on Facebook when I got my uh, cousin Wendy's husband Roger died down there, didn't he? So we took that family. Also, uh, Brother Hank Tover's mother fell Sunday evening and uh, broke her ankle, broke both bones, and they started out right there and had to have surgery uh, Monday there in Charleston. She's doing okay, but she's 80. for those that uh, won't have families to go to. Uh, no doubt they're stunned grieving because they just lost loved ones and it's going to be the first Thanksgiving without them. If you've never been through that, it's always tough. You, know, you start counting, you know, you count, well, it's been a day, it's been a week, it's been two weeks, it's been three weeks, it's been four weeks, it's been a month, two months, first holiday, you know, all those things that they're they're, uh, I hate to use the word milestones, but it's what they are during that grieving process. And each one of those are, are tough. I ask you to remember all those people. Most of all, remember this country. You didn't turn back to God. Yes. The only hope for America is not in the White House. Right. It's not in the Congress. It's in the church house. Yeah. It's in the, the Word of God and the Holy Spirit today. If we lift the Savior up. He promised he'd draw all men unto him. As he's speaking of the one that's been lost, I was thinking of Mitch Barnett, uh, uh, yeah. uh, Barnett, his dad. Yeah, he did a false church. Let's pray for also our soldiers that are yes. not going to be home tomorrow. Yes. They'll be part on their families as well as them. May that God's hand of mercy will be upon them and shield them. And we live in the greatest country on earth. I don't understand why they think some people that live here don't love it. Right. We're blessed beyond measure. I, I realize that America is not perfect, but more than sure we everything else I've read about in other places.
your hand, you were. Someone want to be the first tonight to testify?
Thanksgiving service. Only does once a year. I'll start us off, Jamie. I just want to thank the Lord most for my salvation. I thank Him for my family, for my church family, and just for every little thing in life that we just take for granted every day. Just like getting out of bed. And I thank you for my job and the health that I have. I can get up and go to work every day. Although I complain about it sometimes, I still thank you for that. I did, I just, there's so much, like you always say, that we can thank you for. I didn't write no list because it wouldn't do me no good. But I just want to say that I love him and I love everybody here. And I just, just want to thank him. Yes, you are.
I want to thank the Lord for just letting me get up every morning, get out and do a little bit of something, keep me safe while I'm out. Point up down the road there. <coughs> just for letting me, uh, letting me get to be a blessing to me. You can tell me about God and stuff. And, uh, we talk about it just about every night. That's my, that's really a blessing to me. I thank the Lord for that. You know, traveling, getting up and getting out, you know, just being able to do something. Amen. Yes. Thank you for the church family. Love each and every one of them is here. Everything else you does for
sure, man. <laughs> uh, I think, God, that I am, instead of being one of four people last year killed by a car being ran into, I am one of 90 people yeah. who survived with an injury. So I thank God for that. I also thank God that that has put me in a position where I can advocate for safer streets in my community and help other people not have to go through um, being crashed into by an automobile. I thank God for the opportunity that I have in my job to work with people in the organizations to make them better. I've learned so much from survivors of every massacre that we have over the past months and selfishly that I wasn't part of it. Um, I thank him for helping me to have a strong relationship with him and one that I know every day I wake up and I walk with him. I just want to thank God and what everything does for me out through my life. Keep me safe for all up to the life we're working, okay? I thank you for my help. Thank you for my lovely wife. Sometimes I'm not the best husband there ever was. The Lord takes care of this stuff. My lovely sons, thank you for his life. They're out in their life. Thank you for Larry giving me the free. First of all, I want to thank you for saving my life. Saving my soul. Father, you know, we need to thank you for the little things, you know, like we walk out here with stuck a toe. It hurt. Well, I thank God for when God wanted 
exciting night. Love each and every one of you. So many things. You know, you just, there's no way you can think of everything that you, you can give him thanks for. There's not enough paper to write it down. But the Lord knows that, you know, yeah. I thank him for everything. My health and thank him for his healing touch and everything that he does for me every day. All the blessings that you don't even realize till you know, it's over and how you've been blessed.
situation when I was 25, I had no idea what my life would be like without God. Because it's all I've ever known, eternal. And I'm thankful for that. Thankful for my beautiful wife. Rebecca and Michael, don't tell him that. <laughs> but Hannah, she's a light in front of those kids if she's around. I'm thankful for that, Hannah. Thankful for Wes. A boy that will work. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's right. <laughs> My sisters and their families, I know they're not here tonight, Shell's not here. Uh, my niece came in from Alabama, she's with her. I'm thankful for the privilege to be the pastor of this church. It's not something that I take lightly. But you have confidence in me to place me in here as your leader. I'm thankful for the deacons and the trustees that are on the elder board. I've been here almost five years. We've not had one disagreement. I don't know any other church that I've seen that in. Thankful for the treasurer that we have that makes sure every dime is accounted for and counted. Yes. The sound man that we have that Sits back there and doesn't get much credit, except when the sound goes, <laughs> comes in a lot of, spends a lot of time burning CDs for people, doing trustee work, changing out light bulbs. Thankful for the janitors that we have that give us a good, clean church to worship in. Brother Harold that mows the grass. For a video team. Brother Larry's still learning some on it. We'd all be lost. But when Brother Brother Derek, Derek, you don't know what you've been to this church. I know sometimes you may not hear it, but the many hours that you've spent creating a web page <coughs> that people around the world can watch what goes on in the Church of Freedom Baptist Church on our YouTube account. My wife that sits back there in her hand cranks because she's holding the phone, following me all over this church. We have people that if we're not on the air, they won't know why. Thankful for a piano player. A lot of churches ain't got one. We've done a good one. We've got a good choir leader. We've got good youth leaders. We've got good teachers. We've got great prayer warriors. People that bless us with their music or song. I'm thankful for the ability or the opportunity to sing with the quartet that I sing with. I realize sometimes that uh, once in a while it hinders me from being here once a year or twice a year. But you don't know what a blessing it is for me to stand beside such talented fellows that I get to sing with and watch God bless people like he does. For you that don't know it, I'm thankful for the new job that I have. It started yesterday in my training. For Runke, I report to my job. I finish my training today, report 4 o'clock Friday morning. If you need me down through the day, you're going to have to text me, leave me a message, and when I get the opportunity, I'll get back with you. I've got a 26,000 pound truck rolling down the road, and I can't be talking to you. <laughs> If you hear a big white, you see a big white truck coming at you with a little red sign on the side of the road, get off. <laughs> Might be the best thing for you. I 
sometimes as pastor you you sit and you look and you wonder you know you watch the numbers go up and down attendance wise you wonder is it something you've said is it something that you've done <coughs> or is it just them for the knowledge to know this one thing. I've got an answer for Jamie Forker. Not the other 50 some members of this church. I'll have to answer as my role as a pastor. But you've got to answer for yourself. I want everybody in here to know that again I am thankful for every effort that you put forth. I pray for you, do my best to pray for you daily. Sometimes, multiple times, down through the day, I'll just stop. And I just say, God, bless our church. I'm thankful for the opportunities that are coming that we don't know nothing about. The doors that God's going to open, the people he's going to bring into our church, that we can be a light and be a blessing to. thankful for our new brother that's going to come and teach us the class on how to uh, carry a gun safely and seal carry. Thankful for God's protection and provision. I'm like Rhonda, there's a lot of times that Rhonda and I have just looked at one another and said, what are we going to do? God's made a way. Next week we will finish up chapter, we'll be chapter 4, if my memory serves me correct, of uh, we'll 1 John. Next week will be 5. 5. Maybe 5. 5. I'll keep the one right. I went and looked. I just got the number wrong. I did study the right one, but I, I forgot we were doing this one. I did study 5. I did remember that. Because the last word in chapter 5 is amen. Amen.